My name is Marleen Dochterom. I'm a professor in biophysics here at the Technical University of Delft. I'm Anna Akhmanova. I'm a professor of cell biology at the University of Utrecht. Synergy project is really for us a fantastic way to collaborate, basically because uh, we are very much interested in the same biological questions, but we have come from a very different background and use very different approaches. Biologists think in terms of cells and in terms of function, and physicists think much more about the basic physical mechanisms, and so combining these two ways of thinking can be very productive. The field of research is understanding of the cytoskeleton in living cells. This has both a cell biology and a biophysics component. We want to understand how it's built up and how it works, but we also take parts of cells and try to reconstitute, rebuild it in a cell tube. Together we're trying to achieve uh, that we understand the cytoskeleton in such detail. Which would allow us to manipulate them. The research is uh, based in multiple places, uh, so here in Delft, uh, but it's a strong collaboration between Utrecht University and Delft, but it also involves a bit of a collaboration with uh, a lab in Amsterdam. So the way the synergy works in our case is that uh, we bring in complementary expertise and experiments and we get both our groups together uh, in one location uh, once a month. And this means about 10-15 people directly involved in the Synergy project and this is how we share a lot of uh, practical information, how students learn from each other and how we create new ideas of which directions the project is going to. Then there is the methodological level as well. Cell biologists and biophysicists have different equipment and use different techniques. And what is very powerful that you can bring advanced technologies from both levels together to carry out experiments. The students in my group often have a physics background, so they think about systems in a more mathematical way. But they can only do this if they understand the cell biology and can apply the cell biological techniques when needed. And this is where a lot of the expertise from Anna's group comes in. And by bringing it together, uh, we get really added value. The Synergy grant was in particular interesting to us because we really believe that uh, our research needs to involve both approaches that we can bring. So the success or the strength of the proposal really comes from the collaboration we propose. Because the scale is bigger and the duration is long enough to try out really challenging projects, it gives you the freedom and the opportunity to really pursue something that you would not be able to do in any other grant. It's also very attractive for young researchers because they know that they will be able to be exposed to a lot of different research lines and techniques. It becomes a much richer project because they can, for the same question, apply a much broader spectrum of approaches and techniques. So it allowed us to create a very diverse group from all over the world working together. And this creates a wonderful, vibrant environment. Our project is mostly fundamental in nature at the moment. But once you've achieved this understanding, then there's a lot of applications. For example, scientists working in cancer research may use uh, the insight that we've uh, generated. In my opinion, it's very important that Europe continues to invest at a high level in fundamental science because the world is changing quickly and there's lots of gaps in our knowledge that prevent us to find uh, solutions for all these changing conditions. Fundamental science is the only way to provide us with new knowledge that we can then apply uh, for the problems that are facing us. For me, synergy means inspiration. Synergy means sharing. For me, synergy means working together. Opportunities. A broader perspective.